Right, it's good to see you again. Uh, if you saw my last episode of the video which explaining how to convert convert the into an MPV for touring, uh, you must be aware about the, the rear rack that I installed there, which is equipped with the easy wheel. So that one is uh, create a lot of interest from the, my viewer, my video viewer, about uh, where I might uh, where I get this uh, rear rack, pretty cool rear rack. Let me show you this one. This is my uh, last review about uh, my body. Then see, it's a pretty easy build, the rear rack. So let me show you again. Okay, now you see, this is the cool rear rack that was a curiosity from my video viewer about how I can get this uh, unique rear rack. So actually, I have another rack, another fashion here, because last time I bought Superdy, so this is actually the first rack that I buy, that I bought at the time. Before I got this new, you see, so I have another one here, but no wheel. So what I would like to show you this time is how to create a wheel from this uh, no wheel rack. So in case that we fold this uh, birdie, then this wheel will be have its function to make it easy to go. Okay. So what kind of things that I need? Let me show you. So I have a abandoned stock of uh, Easy Wheel from the original Brompton on my hand. I even have two pairs because I have uh, three Bromptons and I don't know the other ones coming where. This one is uh, the one from Kerini, which is I changed also. But I have the Brompton one, two sets here. And then, the, okay, together, exactly. We still have a complete nuts and ring, spacer, everything. And then uh, what I need to do is I bought this uh, new extendable uh, light pro as you will uh, the lever yeah? I think it's not I just bought this uh, rod only not including this uh, easy because I have this uh, uh, spare anyway uh, it comes up with this uh, complete set of the nut and, and then uh, spacer ring and then the, what I need to do is uh, first I have to put this part and have to put this part exactly here and it's quite funny that uh, it's just like there is a space over here you see that can just exactly match inside this one so what I need to do is maybe uh, I can do a drill a hole here and make a thread and fix it inside put it inside or i can just make it a fix because if i put the bolt in here then it will still move like this although if we put it a very tight bolt inside here so i think that i will need a, a, a weld on this part and this part so we have a fix okay let me show you how Right. I'm, what I'm going to do next is I have to check this uh, existing uh, Brompton roller whether it's applicable uh, to this uh, new uh, extender. So uh, I need to, to check whether this is usable. So what I need to do is to just put this uh, existing coming from the rod set bolt in here and I use this part this is very important part to make it it's uh, easy to roll because it stay inside and then uh, to animate the, the friction and although we type this it can be still roll easily and then uh, I need this uh, spacer ring here sorry I have to put another one in front of this see here and 
put it here and see so can so we can just tie it as tight as possible yeah then we still can we can still roll yeah so it's the use of this uh skisser and then another one we have to take this off it's a uh, original uh, easy wheel Brompton set which is that idle on my stock because I have changed this one to bigger to bigger one so the part is we just we need this part very important part and then we put this one you see that there is a different bit this is a long a long part and then this is a short part you see this inside the different so this is the the one that fits up front and then this is on the rear part so I put it inside and then space another here and then we tighten this part yeah. okay so it can be raw and then at the end what we need to do is it can be still raw here okay, like this in this position so what we need is only simply to weld this part rather than uh, we can put a bolt inside here but I think that uh, at the end we have to weld this part and this part to make it fixed okay wait for the next so first I will put a mark in here before we make the keyhole. hole Yeah, we mark that this is the point that we need to drill. Another part. Remember that there's a letter over here, so we just put it on the top. So this is to differentiate between left and right. And also, this part is the one that can be retractable. So, same here. We put a mark here. Point over there. See this part? And check again where the the point is center. So we can Yeah, it's about that. Okay. Here. Just a piece that I have to do. I think it's enough. We make a chat better. Should we make a chat?
So same case with this uh, left and then the right side, we make a hole and then I make a thread using this uh, tool so uh, we can insert the, the bolt, the suitable bolt in this uh, part. But uh, since there is a, uh, I don't know what is it for, there, there is a hole for bolts in here so uh, it's quite difficult to passing through this so uh, the length of the bolt should be not, uh, cannot be similar, the length. But the most important thing is uh, this bolt is to hold this rod so uh, even though uh, maybe if it's not strong enough that I will have to weld this part maybe I just weld this under uh, the part under here so in case sorry it's under here because it's you know, on the bottom so this still looks good from the upside so what I need to do now is I just tighten this bolt put inside this rack I think uh, I need a small reach the maximum level so uh, I need to continue it with the manual way using hand not using the uh, drill tools pretty tight see it's only left about one milli almost another round oh sorry it's broken now so I'm going to weld this part to this uh, very easy because when I try to put it down, it's just this up. It's open and So now after I do the welding on the both side, you see, then what I would like to do next is to paint it. So this is what it looks like after it's get painted. So pretty cool. And then the next step is to put on this uh, wheel and we see how it works.
I'm going to take this off from this birdie so I can install the new rack, rear rack, uh, which is I've already equipped with the with the easy wheel. And let's see how. Then there's a this part we have to release it first, and then uh, we need to install the things over here, and then it is full. Okay, this back because this is the base, not for this uh, last bomber. Let's put it back. I take off this stickle. I put a sticker in it because to cover the hole actually from the dust. It's much faster than this. this thing. Careful not to lose the ring. Sometimes it's quite difficult to find the appropriate, the correct size of the ring. Okay. Need to take this off.
So now we have a uh, install this part and this part, and it's ready for use. And now I'll show you how this it looks like when it's folded. So this is what it looks like when it's folded. So right now, sorry. Wheel rack with an easy wheel. So I hope you enjoy my this uh, video showing you how to uh, set up this uh, rear rack for the body and then attach it with the uh, easy wheel which is I use the, the spare uh, I use a wheel for one pump I wanted to buy it more yeah. and then I hope you enjoy it and then uh, you can leave a comment in my inbox and then uh, please subscribe so I can continue to give you another episode of uh, X and improvement of it. Bye. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.